food across the board across the world is the factor where everyone can get to know one's, someone's culture. And it, it, it speaks volumes to be able to sit down at a table and share a meal because you learn so much just from the food. You don't even have to talk necessarily. Just from the food, you can learn about their culture. You know, I feel like Filipino food is really underrated um, and not many people know about it. And that's really, you know, part of the goal of what we're trying to do is make it approachable so more people can experience it. People think we're just doing donuts. We're not just doing donuts. We're doing so much more than donuts. The breakfast food, we have two types of toast. The three-way mushroom toast has whipped lemon thyme ricotta. There's Long Beach mushrooms, which are a local mushroom, uh, mushroom grower here. I mean, it's just this gigantic toast, like full of yummy goodness and like just different kinds of vegetables. There's also a vegan toast. The bread is vegan. <laughs> we want to make sure we get the vegans. We also took the law, which we named after Lawrence. It's a Taylor ham, cheddar cheese, fried egg on a sugar salted donut. We always try to highlight the backgrounds of our chefs. Most of us are Filipino. Chef Bo is uh, from Cambodia and so he does a Cambodian breakfast sausage, and that's in um, the Damipo burrito. Uh, it's not like our original like breakfast uh, sausage, which is known as tuaco. The one I've been working with is, uh, is like prahat, which is a pounded down and like fried dish cake. But instead, I just made it into like a regular sausage. every single person in their right is a chef on that team. You know, I couldn't ask for a better group, better people. Especially in this industry, people, it's hit and miss, you know, for the most part. You'll find a good crew, sometimes you won't, and butt heads over certain things. But this crew, just right off the bat from the beginning, just got along. We all worked at Bedwood. And uh, we worked until the restaurant burned down. Uh, that morning was I was dropping off Carissa to work, and that was just that that sight. It was just middle of the night, darkness, but then smoke everywhere. Because we were doing uh, the Great Plates program, um, and that program was with the city, and we fed the senior citizens, and that's what we were doing the day of the fire. We were going. We came in super early to finish packing everything and to do that, and it was literally up in flames. And everything was just black, and, you know, everyone's heart just fell, and the kitchen was home. Like, we were there more than we were at our own homes. It was literally, we went home to sleep. So that was definitely, like, a sense of loss. Like, that was a missing part of us. We, we couldn't just let all the time we put in with each other to just disappear, just like that. So Janice and I, I think at like 6 a.m. the next day, we're on the phone texting, like, what are we gonna do? What's our game plan? You know, what's next? Um, for me, I was like, I already have a catering license. I was like, why don't we continue this? We have a great team, we work well together. So we decided to just stick together, stick it out, and see what we can do. So that's what we're doing. You know, now our house is headquarters, and that's where we do our work. We do our team meetings. We do our test kitchen um, every Friday. <laughs> so that's kind of helped because it's given us a central location where we can work together we have a lot of plans for the corner stoop. Like, this is just the beginning. 
absolutely just the beginning. For sure, Janice and I want to open up like a brick and mortar that's going to be Dig the Stoop. That's like a specific like high-end dessert bakery. Bo and Lawrence are going to run the Ashes division for barbecue, um, which was actually inspired by the fire, like Phoenix, we rise from the ashes. So you'll definitely see a lot of stuff from us coming up, for sure. <laughs>